Hello, and Randy here, playing Farming Simulator 17 on Missouri, Mississippi, Ohio River Basin map. As I typically call it, just the River Basin map here. And we're currently, or the hired workers, currently working on slurring up this uh, field here. Got the Steiger Tiger 3 on this end of the field. And then we got the Steiger, it says Tiger on the side here, the name says Cougar. The uh, Steiger Turbo Tiger or Cougar over on this end here with the horse. This is the 36 meter. You know what? I'm going to unhire him here just a minute so he goes all the way to this end of the field here. Caught him just at the right point here. This uh, particular one here is actually a little bit wider. The horse is 36 meters. The other slurry injector there is 30 meters. This one actually takes a little bit uh, less horsepower, which is probably better for this uh, tractor. Also want to get into some actual manure spreading here this episode as well. So we're probably going to get started on that here. Let's get uh, you a going. And he should be good to go. And for the uh, manure spreader here, we're just going to go with the uh, one from the Big Bud pack here. The that Brochard. EV at 2200, 120WR. Okay then. We'll buy that 15 meter spread pattern. Holds a whopping 70,000 liters of crap. Now that is a lot of crap. Okay, for tractors here. Which group do I have it in? Uh, group four. I uh, rearranged all my tractors in the groups here. Kind of split them up a little bit more. Oh, we got a flying challenger over there. So yeah, basically I moved all the uh, tractors up a couple of groups. Now I've got group one with the smaller tractors. Use that in parentheses there because those aren't exactly small tractors, but smaller tractors. Uh, group two, getting up to the big tractors there. Uh, group three, currently all the unloading tractors. The eight R's there with the chaser bins on them. And then uh, group four here, we got some of the big articulated tractors, the challengers. And then group five, we got some more big uh, tractors there as well. So anyway, we'll go to the shop here. Let's pick up our new uh, extra large uh, poop hauler, holder, spreader. Uh, probably should find some way to fill it as well. I wonder what the best option for that would be. Uh, we could use the in-game belt. So I think we'd have to get the small belt to go with it to pick it up. That's kind of a not so nice. Obviously, we can't use a frazy with this tractor. No front three-point hitch. Oh, maybe we'll go for a belt. That would probably be the easiest option. Uh, it's again too bad we don't have the belts like we had back in Farming Simulator 15. For those who remember those, uh, you know you could. have either pull them or attach them to a front end loader and you know they pick it right up off the ground you didn't have to have the secondary belt there that'd be kind of nice in this case but oh well not that I have to have this filled either I do plan on just setting the hired worker to uh, use it from the uh, storage there but it'd still be kind of nice you know to fill it up initially here And we're going to go over to a field, let's see, what's, what field was it here? For a field 33. Here, we'll go over to that one, nice uh, square field there. And uh, we'll see how long the uh, manure lasts. We currently have a little over 1 million liters of manure, so that's a lot of manure. But uh, somehow I suspect it's not going to last long. We'll find out, I guess. So yes, there's all our manure. How do we want to get it out of there? That is the question. I guess probably the easiest one would be a belt, right? Yeah, it's too bad there's not actually like a self unloader here. That would be kind of nice. I 
Okay, belt it is, I guess. I can't really think of a better option at this point here. So let's get one of those. One of those. And then we'll have to haul it back home here as well. Oh, you're both up here. Okay, what tractor or vehicle do I have that's close enough? Truck. I don't remember now if the truck attaches to those or not. That's the problem with those belts. I don't think everything attaches to them. Uh, truck, we got uh, a 9R, right? That That's definitely big enough. Yeah, a Ford, definitely, definitely big enough as well. Okay, do I not like have any tractors up in this area that's easily usable? Oh, we got a Field Viper. Yeah, why not? We'll take him. And need to get rid of this tank anyway, so that'll be perfect. Fortunately, we'll have to make two trips here hauling both of the belts. Again, like I said, that's kind of the annoying part with the belts here in the game. Number one, they are slow. And number two, you can have both of them to pick something up. Uh, for those of you watching our Valley of the Old Farm series there, you know, you'll notice we're using large mother bins to uh, sell the wood chips on that map as opposed to the belts. And you may be wondering, well, why not belts? Well, belts, yes, they do work. They're just, number one, they're slower. And... With the uh, speed at what that silo we're using can unload at, it unloads too fast for it to continuously unload into the belts, unfortunately. And a reminder there, by the way, for anybody that would like to play a multiplayer farming simulator with us, uh, we currently have three farming simulator multiplayer servers. Again, information for those can be found in TeamSpeak. And information for the TeamSeek server is in the uh, description below, by the way. I think that tank is empty, so even if it's not, oh well. And we'll sell that a moment. Couldn't never really get it to work anyway. It's not quite the way I wanted to. We may uh, try again in the future here. We'll see once, but for the time being, we'll just uh, sell it. Now, can I, uh, I don't think this works, but. You know, attach it there and then uh, pull the whole unit. Like I said, I don't think this works, unfortunately. Hmm, interesting. No, it removes that attacher there, doesn't it? Okay, fine. Make two trips. Anyway, again, if you would like to play multiplayer with us, server one here is currently Valley View Farm. Again, like I mentioned, that's kind of more of a private multiplayer server at the moment, just so we can keep track of the hours on there. Uh, server 2 is Cherry Hills. Again, a large 4X map. Uh, 4X map being the same size as this map here. The uh, Missouri, Mississippi, Ohio River Basin map here is a 4X map. So four times larger than a normal map. A uh, normal map being like Goldcrest Valley. And then we got Spectacle Island on Server 3. Again, Server 3 is our old iron server. For those who like uh, the old equipment, uh, what you are seeing some of it here, like the Fords. And the uh, Steigers there. Some of that is old equipment. Uh, we got a lot more of that on Server 3. Okay, there's that piece. And we'll go back and get the other one here in a moment. And we'll see once too about this episode, maybe starting to harvest the corn here as well. Uh, if you watched last episode there, we got the combines lined up for field 18. Yes, field 18 there. 
Ooh, we've got to check. Did he finish fertilizing it? That is actually an excellent question. I'll have to check that as well here a moment. Anyway, well, I'll read some comments here a moment. Uh, Mystery Islands Music was saying, uh, the working with on the uh, Generate course play does matter. Uh, try to adjust it while the course is running, and you'll see it's going to shift. That is rather interesting. I wouldn't have thought that would have mattered at all, but uh, maybe it does. That would seem kind of odd for it, too, seeing how that is or should be saved with the course. Uh, Thomas McConsell was saying, ooh, suggestion time. Let's beat the record for 36 combines. Uh, was it that? I don't think it was that many combines. I think it was 28 combines, if I remember correctly. Uh, current record there for a uh, number of combines running in the farming simulator. At least for myself, anyway. Back in Oklahoma. Okay, we'll get this up pulled in here. Is it not going to pick this up? It kind of looks that way, doesn't it? So we uh, just waste all this time hauling this uh, belt over here. It's not even going to work. That would not be cool. Shouldn't have to be attached to this to uh, pick it up, I don't believe. Uh, these do pick up manure, right? I thought they did. Maybe they don't. Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, slurry manure. Or actually, yeah, not slurry. Manure. Yes, that is manure there. That's what I thought. They do hold manure. So I wonder, is there something wrong with this uh, manure pile here then? Most definitely is not picking it up, is it? Well, that's not going to work then. Okay. Well, I guess we just maybe wasted all this time getting these belts over that don't even work. Oh, God, let's just uh, sell them here a moment. Can't even drive them out of the way. I will have to say, uh, if you ever tried driving those belts around, super annoying to drive around. Uh, for one, they're really slow, which, you know, I guess is kind of understandable, but uh, still, super slow. Very annoying. Ooh, I got one of these too, don't I? wonder what I got one of these for. Oh, that's right. That's the one we're using at the uh, cows there, isn't it? Okay, one more try here. Let's just see once if we can uh, use the phrase -y. Let's see, that is under miscellaneous. It is, yes. Okay, let's go pick that up here. Mostly just uh, testing here at this point. See once uh, we get something that'll work. We're holding or picking up the manure here. Back to the shop. Wasn't really planning on spending this entire episode just trying to pick up manure, but seeing how the belts didn't work, plan B. And if you're wondering, no, I do not have a plan C. Uh, Jenny was saying, thank you for the video, and I'm modeling the uh, Steiger Tiger 2. And it will be public once it's done. Cool. Uh, Garrow's asking, how many cows do you have? Uh, let's see what's your double check. He's asking this. Okay, yeah, that is it on Missouri episode here. So on this map here, I have 1,080 cows currently.
uh, Night Wolf of Saint version 3 and the final version of the map I downloaded Wednesday. Other than the trees, which uh, drive me bonkers, everything is the same. Except they uh, fixed a few things and the big grass field has horses in it. Ah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, one of the things they fixed in version 3 too was the mixer there, the mixer for the cows. The one that is actually on this map actually works in that version. And again, if you remember on this one here, it does not. It actually just produces silage. Yes, great, uh, great mixer there. Produces silage. Okay, this will pick up the manure, and whoa, it, uh, it's got some range, too. <laughs> okay. wonder why the belt couldn't pick it up, then. Uh, what was I doing wrong? Hmm, I'm not sure. Still be nice if this had a self-unloader on it, which it doesn't. I don't think does it. Nothing like on this other side of the building, is there? Nope. Oh, well, wow, you can even see the manure down in the uh, slurry tank here. Speaking of slurry tank, it is going down. Out of curiosity, how much slurry do we have left here? Slurry is, whoa, down to 226,000 liters. There is not much left. So just to recap here again, for slurry, we did field 30. We're now doing field 31. Field 31, obviously much, much bigger. And, you know, it goes back to my point here, my whole complaint here in Farming Simulator and all the Farming Simulators, the amount of manure you get from the animals is not very much. It's not enough to be typically worth doing anything with. Uh, consider the fact here, folks, that we got 1,080 cows. 1,080 cows. And, I mean, yes, the, uh, the fields on this map are big. But, I mean, look how much slurry it's taken to do those fields. And, you know, that 1,080 cows, oh, how long they've been producing manure and slurry here. Oh, we're day 8. We're currently day 8 here in the game. And I don't remember when we got the cows going. I don't think it was quite right away. So let's just say 7. The cows have had 7 days, oh, we're full here, uh, 7 days to produce manure and slurry. And we've pretty much used it all up on... In the case of the slurry, two fields. And I don't know if anybody uh, does anything with manure and slurry in real life, but, uh, you know, there's usually a pretty good abundance of it. <laughs> okay, double check here. We're heading out to field 30. This is the right way. Yes, looks like it is. We have not uh, worked up that field at all. And I don't know if I'll plant it or not. I guess we'll see once. Uh, Jeffrey was saying, I know it was 15, but do you recall the big corn map and the fun times that were there? Oh, yes, the big corn map and uh, chopping corn there. Oh, what was the name of that map again? don't remember the name of that map, but uh, yes, we did some serious corn chaff in there. And actually, uh, oh, corn belt map. Yes, corn belt map. That's what it was. Definitely some good old fun there. You got the uh, 16x maze map here in the farming simulator 17. Unfortunately, that map lags like crazy. At least it did anyway. I don't know if anybody's ever fixed it or not, but that map was a bit crazy. But yeah, so far we have not done any large-scale chaffing here in 17. And, you know, the way that they've made the changes here in 17, not sure how well it would work anymore. Uh, Retro saying, can you get the Steiger Panther 310? It has 310 horsepower. Don't think I have that tractor that I know of. <laughs> Emery, I love how you trash talk uh, Case IH, but you run Case IH in Combines and Farming Simulator. 
Well, as I've said, one of my favorite combines in Farming Simulator are the Case 9230s. And at least when it comes to course play here. Uh, again, the only reason we're really using the Case ones is because the pipes are longer. We had some issues there with the uh, John Deere combines. The pipes are a little bit uh, too short. Let's get out of the way. We don't want to get uh, pooped up here. Oh, yes. Look at that uh, beautiful crap on the field. Yeah, I'm going to be curious to see here how much uh, manure we go to go through. Uh, JC Game was saying, excellent video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, uh, Jabba was saying on your Valley of the Old Farm series, you said no OP mods. That truck is so OP. I'm assuming you're talking about the GMC dump truck. And yes, you, you probably do have a little bit of a point there. That uh, capacity of that truck is probably a little OP. But it is one of our favorite trucks to use on the uh, multiplayer servers. And, you know, just for the uh, sake of this competition, I don't feel like changing the uh, capacity of it. Okay, looks like we're making a pretty good motor. If we should get... Uh, do we want to get two manure spreaders? I don't think the manure is going to last that long, so I'm going to say no. Uh, how are we doing over here? Ah, we're having an altercation. Okay, perfect. Got a uh, farmer across the road here, by the way, in real life that has one of these. I don't remember exactly which size it is, though. Looks uh, very similar to this with a green color. The kind of very unique cab shape, I guess we'll say. Like I said, I'm not sure what size it is, though. Pretty sure it has a green hood on it, not a black hood. But everything else about it looks identical to this. Some nice big beefy tires on it. Okay, you should be done. Now we can get this uh, field cultivated under. Again, I do want to try the uh, cultivation attachment here as well at some point. Uh, Dejabo saying Farming Simulator 19 comes to the market in October. Yes, it should. Yep. Phil was saying in this video at roughly 9 minutes and 55 seconds, in the top right of the screen, one of the planes crashes. Okay, I'm going to have to go back and watch last episode. I guess I did not see that. Uh, I think it actually might just be going over the uh, kind of the horizon there for the hill, but uh, I'll definitely have to go back and look at that. Uh, Phil was saying in Michigan you see a log farm on some license plates, so I guess what you're doing is technically farming. Again, talking about the Valley of the Old Farm series there. Adam was saying that in uh, Farming Simulator 19 we should have the Frankenstein conveyor. Uh, for those of you who know what the Frankenstein conveyor is, that comes from Gold Rush the Game. And yes, that would definitely be a rather interesting thing to add to Farming Simulator uh, 19. Very much doubt you'll see that. Uh, definitely possible to see a mod of it, though. Okay, and you should be done. Reminds me as well, we do have cotton that can be harvested too. Or not harvested, sorry. Uh, cotton that can be sold. This was the cotton field here that is harvested. Uh, how are we looking? Looks like he is, is he uh, actually using the manure in here? He should be just taking it from storage, I do believe. Yes, he is. At least he's supposed to be anyway. Just looking at the number, it doesn't seem like it's going down, does it?
No, the number is not going down. Okay, he's not set to buy it or something, is he? Oh, uh, let's see what's your help or refill manure from the cow manure heap. Uh, is Glance Mod just not updating here? Interesting. I wonder if that's like a bug and we're getting free manure. Well, that kind of defeats the purpose of being able to tell how much manure we're using. That's kind of my goal here. I'd like to see once how long the manure will last. But at the same time, you know, we're, we're essentially getting free manure here, I guess, because it's not charging it to us, I don't think. I mean, the money is going down. I think that's probably more for the hired worker than anything. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I guess the uh, Steiger Tiger 3 there doesn't really get dirty, or at least doesn't get very quickly anyway. <laughs> the, uh, the other one here, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's an ugly looking tractor when it gets like that. Don't particularly like that when the tractors get that dirty that quickly. Although I guess, you know, spreading slurry like that it maybe makes a little bit more sense. Okay, that truck is empty. I guess we never brought this down to the uh, cornfield, did we? We'll have to do that. I'll probably do that off screen then. Let's actually start selling the uh, cotton we got here. We'll switch you over to cotton. There we go. And check the map here for fertilizer. No, you did not finish it yet, did you? Okay. Definitely need to get that going then, don't we? Hopefully he'll pick up where he left off. Let's see what's here. Where is that course at? Oh yeah, he should be good. Should have got him going a little earlier here. Oh well. Uh, I guess we can take him down to the field here. And that'll be time to wrap up the episode. Oh, Ethan was saying a good job. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Nick was saying I saw a tiger like that uh, for sale in my town for 33000 Actually seems kind of cheap for a tractor like that. I guess they are older tractors. Obviously, again, they don't make them anymore. Uh, Steiger is part of Case, so hence the Case Steigers. It's as far as I know anyway. Bradley was saying you're the best. Well, thank you very much for that. Uh, Marcos was saying for selling wood chips on Valley of the Old Farm, you should fold up the last auger bin on the mother bin. So all the uh, mother bins will fill up before selling. Uh, that is actually a really good idea. The only issue with that is the last auger bin there. We cannot get to it. Uh, for those of you who remember watching us set it up, uh, the way it's positioned there, there's no way to hitch to that mother bin. We ended up just actually pushing it into place. And again, yeah, like I said, just because of its position there, there is unfortunately no way to attach to it. What is on this field here? Is this rice? That seems like some really tall rice. Uh, no, oh, that is the tobacco. Okay, that's right. Tobacco. Rice is on field 30. Okay. So tobacco here, that actually kind of makes sense. Again, really liking the uh, multi-fruit that's available on this uh, map here. And as you notice too, there's no trees along here anymore. Uh, not sure I exactly like that look. I kind of like the look of it with the trees myself. But given the trouble we were having, you know, they, they kind of had to go.
Anyway, on that note, I think with that, we'll uh, wrap up the episode here. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.